we're in Bali today. We made it. <laughs> so um, yesterday we just kind of chilled out mainly, went to the beach, and had a bit of a nice meal out in the evening. And then today we're on a bit of a tour. So we visited a temple this morning um, and learned a little bit about the history and some kind of the way they see uh, God and their relationship. Um, then we went to a, I think they called it a water palace. It was a nice garden with uh, lots of water and fish. Um, now we are having lunch with this beautiful view behind us, just looking over the rice fields um, and onto another temple this afternoon. So, cool.
So, included in our sunrise tour, we got a really good breakfast actually. Um, they called it a, a, a refreshment and snacks in the um, booking, but actually it was a really good breakfast, so that was nice. And we got a souvenir, which is like, like a little uh, scarf, sarong type thing, so that was cool. Um, so, yeah, and now we're going to go to two more smaller temples, uh, including that tour before heading back for 10 a.m. So yesterday, after our sunrise tour, um, we booked our ticket to go to Jakarta, uh, but we couldn't go until 6 o'clock in the evening, so we hung around all day. Then we got a really uncomfortable um, train to Jakarta, which was a late arriving, so we didn't get there until quarter past three. Then we walked because the guys in front of the taxis wanted an astronomical amount to drive us. It was a nine minute walk. So. Then we slept until midday. Yeah. Um, now, as you can see, we're on a really bumpy bus. Yeah, so we figured out probably the best way to try and get to mainland um, Asia was to go to Sumatra and try and get a ferry from Jemai. Um And the quickest way seemed to be getting a Gojek taxi to the airport and then getting this very bumpy bus to the port of Merck. So, that's where we're going now. So after a long sweaty journey, uh, we made it to the port and just about made it on the ferry. But now the ferry's been sat here for ages, so I don't know if you can see how sweaty I am in the video. Anyway, there we are. Um, so I'm not really sure what time we'll get to the other island. Hopefully in less than three hours. Uh, and then we're going to try and figure out how we're going to get to tomorrow. So. so, since uh, we got that ferry, that was like two days ago, uh, we got off the ferry, immediately got onto a bus to um, Banda La Pan. Uh, that took about three hours. Um, I think they generally have a bus there to meet the ferry, so if you're ever doing this journey, um, I wouldn't worry about getting transport from the terminal to another one. Um, unfortunately, because, um, well, basically the ferry didn't get there in time for us to then make our connection onto the train. So even if we got a taxi, we'd have missed the train by about 15 minutes. That was unfortunate. Um, and then, when we got to the bus terminal, um, met this lovely, charming guy, a policeman, in fact, yeah. and he was like, "Oh, yes, there's a bus to Dubai. Um, yeah, I can help you with the tickets. Um, this is my friend Paul, and he sold us a ticket for a nice uh, executive, super executive bus with reclining seats and air conditioning, and he charged us 450,000." Uh, Rupia from Scotland. Each. Each, yeah, each. And he was like, the bus is at two. So, at midnight, this other bus shows up. He's like, oh, this is the only bus. You've got to get on this bus. I'm like, oh, what? Uh, okay. This bus was very economy. So economy, in fact, that um, my legs didn't fit in between my chair and the chair in front of me. Let alone Sean's legs. He's like a lot taller than me. Um, so then we spent about 26 hours on that bus. Yay. It was fairly horrendous. My feet started swelling up. And then in the middle of the night, oh, not only that, but they had told us we were going to go up the um, east side of the country, and the bus went up the west side of the country. Just a bit of a problem seeing it out. Port is on the east. Anyway. Then in the middle of the night, 2 o'clock in the morning, the following night, they were like, oh, we've got to swap buses. I'm like, what? Anyway. Yeah, we weren't told that either. So then we swapped buses. Um, and fortunately, that was an executive bus, so it was slightly more leg room. Slightly less air conditioning. Yeah. Right. No reclining seats, no air conditioning. 
I could at least just about squeeze my legs in. Yeah, anyway. Um, and then that broke down about five hours from Dubai. And also, someone stole Sean's jumper. Weird. Anyway, so we were stuck in that town for a few hours. Then we carried on. And it was all looking good. And then we got to just before the junction to the port, an hour away. And they're like, you've got to get off the bus. And we're like, we bought a ticket the whole way. Anyway, um, so now we're on this little mini bus. It's quite nice. The windows are open. We've got a through breeze. And we're. Um, whisking our way down to the port now. Um, so I think how it works is you buy a ticket and then they get on the bus. For as much as they possibly oh. can. Yeah. And then when you switch buses, your new your old driver pays the new driver for the next bit of the fare. So that's happened twice. Yeah. Or two changes we did. So there we go. But we'll be in the port soon and I managed to ring the ferry guys and apparently there's enough tickets for tomorrow to get to Malaysia so last night in Indonesia and I found some wool. It's nine o'clock. It's so busy in there. It's so crazy. Anyway, time to go and find some dinner. So, after the stress of yesterday's, the last two days of journey, we arrived in Dumai and for £19 we stayed in a super nice hotel. We also found some wool to go with my um, around the world uh, blanket project. Um, then we had a really nice dinner at our hotel and a really good sleep, a nice shower. Oh, it was all lovely. And then this morning we got up and had Indonesian breakfast. It's like rice and noodles. Well, luckily they did have some cereal. Yeah, we, we found some cereal. <laughs> um, and then we came to the ferry terminal and that then they were like, uh, and then everything just went rapidly downhill. So you can't buy a ticket in the terminal, you've got to go back into town next to our hotel. Uh, anyway, long story short, there was lots of trips back and forth into town. Um, it resulted in my credit card being stolen, but I've had to cancel that now. So, unfortunately, we have some other credit cards with us, but because we still got two months left. But now we're on the ferry, we're on our way um, to Malaysia. So, hopefully, Malaysia will bring better times. Ha, ha, ha.